Hi, I'm Karthik. Uh, in this video, I'm going to uh, share you like uh, a interesting ROI tracker which we built for many clients, and each client has some unique requirements. So I will show like uh, three kinds of to uh, dashboard we have created uh, for clients. Uh, the uh, uh, one one is for the agency level, like the uh, the client on its own want to track the performance of their uh, uh, marketing efforts and the other one is like uh, yeah client has like uh, 150 sub accounts away in the go high level agency and want to track the performance of uh, each we is like appointment schedulers how they are performing and uh, how how much they are converting uh, so those kind of things and uh, and uh, another report is like like uh, they generate leads from facebook also they do uh, like through facebook lead gen forms also as well as like landing pages uh, uh, funnels uh, funnels they get leads from google as well as from facebook also they want to track the whole whole customer journey the the creation of all these dashboards is to like uh, uh, the, as an administrator or like the agency owner you should know the customer journey in full uh, in a, in a, in, a, in, a, in a eagle's eye view so you should know like uh, where are the bottlenecks and where the leads are getting stuck and how you can how you can optimize the process only with the right data you can opt you can optimize the things like uh, yeah um the uh, the the dashboard uh, we created maybe uh, it's looking very simple but on the background it looks it's a very complex system working on like it pulls the data from facebook pulls data from google pulls data from go high level pulls data from stripe and makes this as like a consolidated report which the way you can uh, you can just track this report and uh, you see this report every day and uh, you can make uh, make it as a part of your daily routine and track the whole performance of your agency and each sub accounts how it is handling you might know like facebook uh, the go high level on default offers dashboard but the thing is like most users why don't use the dashboard effectively is like it doesn't throw show the complete picture sometimes you upload the leads manually uh, for the missing leads from facebook and that would skew the data and sometimes other factors also come in like uh, if the leads have come in from other firearms that also has to be tracked and those kind of custom and uh, some other customization session each client records are, uh, are also not offered in go high level let's first take this report say first thing first is like you want to track the no show right as a local business it's very important for uh, for uh, uh, customers to track the uh, number of no shows happening and the number of leads generated for a particular period you can have uh, we have a date range filter here you can choose the date range as you wish and then you uh, and then you can have the locations by a location level also you can just you can you can see each location has different uh, number of leads uh, uh, say this location has five five not four leads in total but in the you can uh, spe al always we can have a last seven days or last 15 days last month those kind of reports and the location will show you the why uh, what is the what is the subacon name and final lead is number of leads number of conversion leads because leads are all not all leads are equal conversion leads are much higher um, converting compared to the facebook lead gen form lead right so yeah, that uh, that we have made it as a separate column and you can see like uh, you can see like this particular location has uh, has generated uh, 27 6 of uh, final leads and 119 facebook uh, lead gen form leads and in total leads are like 145 leads appointment is like appointment made during the period is 267 and no shows you might wonder like why it is showing 145 number of leads but 267 appointments the thing is like appointments are like appointments have multiple date attribution one is like when the appointment is actually scheduled in by the va or the customer and 
what is the date of the appointment and or, or, or else you can see you can say like when the user actually got created it depends on the agency requirement we can change the attribution like whether you want the attribution to the age user created time or like the appointment created time say a lead might have come in three you might have got 300 leads last week but those leads might have converted to appointment this week alone so uh, this week itself so the all the not necessarily the number of leads has to match for the appointment but you it's a cumulative data and you can you can you have you have to clearly decide which is the attribution you want to have so appointment is the number of appointments and 14 we also have a condition formatting to uh, to say like anything over like is seven or six uh, no shows that would be marked as red in the same way we have conditional formatting for leads also if the leads are below 10 below 50 or below 15 you can the same goes for the appointment also if it's under five it's like mm, it's why it's rates okay below above five it's green below five it's why it's red so with this kind of simple dashboard but the effective thing you can track the complete performance of the uh sub accounts uh perform mm, in your agency even if you have like hundreds of sub accounts this report alone will be enough to track the performance of each sub accounts and how the account success managers are uh, handling the accounts